G'day guys, Hector back again. I just want to do a sort of quick video again um, for my RC Mart. I've got a couple of new motors come across my bench. Let's get into it. Alright, so while I was away on holidays, I had these uh, 2208 series motors delivered. Um, it looks like, you know, they're just trying to lighten up their 2208s in the same sort of fashion that they did with their 2205 series. Um, so, you know, including the, um, the prop adapter on the bell and then whatnot and sort of taking off a, a bit of meat from the bell and, and the bottom here area. Um, so, yes, I, I thought this was going to be interesting. They... They definitely look a lot meatier. They, you know, than the 2205s. They, I think they'll handle a lot more. They got the grub screw already, so they learnt from that mistake. Um, I've got a couple of other motors here to compare weights. Um, some, you know, the 2206 series, a couple of 2206s, 2205s. Um, first off, it's a four mil shaft, so you know, nice and thick. And uh, I don't think anyone's going to be bending that anytime soon. They probably might bend the prop adapter first, but I don't think so. They've usually, I've never actually bent one on an RCX motor yet. Um, you know, I've bent motors and stuff. Other like I think people will bend the base here first. Like, um, was it twenty two oh five? Like, uh, I know you can, yeah can't really see I oh, actually I've done it a little bit on a 2206 here you'll probably end up bending the base down here the aluminium base before you bend the prop adapter is is what I found um, now this motor is actually still running as well it's just a little bit bent but that's fine now first things first we'll rip apart the motor um, because it's a four mil shaft it's a bit harder to, to take the grub screw off so I'll just quickly show you that now uh, the old method for a 3 mil shaft would be taking the right side here of the pliers and butting it up against the shaft and pressing the left hand bit against the grub screw itself, but that doesn't really do it. Um, so what I found the quickest way is if you can get, obviously, <coughs> oh, excuse me, obviously, um, there's, um, the yeah, sorry, the quickest way that what I found is obviously get it in a bag, just put your finger down on one side, get it perpendicular to one of these um, holes here, and just try and push it off like that, and they tend to come off pretty easy, I did find. Um, it's going to give me hassle now that I'm trying to do it on video that you watch. Yeah, of course. So, oh, there we go. So then, see, it just popped off then. We'll take that out. And uh, I've lost it in there. Ah, please come back. Okay. Now, if you ever get one, get these off, throw them in the bag, of course, keep them safe. Now let's take a look at the motor itself. Um, There we go. Okay, so it's been balanced as always from uh, my RC mark. The RCX mode is always balanced. It slows things up a bit, but you definitely get a balanced bell. Windings look nice. The bearings do feel nice in this thing. And like I, was, um, like I said, they're, it's, they're, they're lightening things up, but I think it's definitely a lot more material here than the 2205s. So should be interesting um, put that back together yeah definitely feels nice I've, I have had a couple of grubby or notchy 2205s but none of these have been like that um, so yeah let's compare some weights I guess so um, I've got a 2206 DYS or Quantum uh, from Hobby King, I've got a RCX 2206 and a 2205 to compare. We 
chop the uh, chop the wires off this a bit, make things easier, a bit fairer. Okay, so really not sure if you're going to be able to see this. Last time it worked out a lot better than than I thought, but we'll, we'll see. So I've got what have we got? Thirty three. 33.9 grams for the RCX 2208. Rather respectable for a 2208 size motor. Now the MM, or the, what is it? Yeah, MT 2206 from BYS or Hobby King. Um, 32.98, nearly 30, nearly 33 grams. Um, 2206 from us, my RC Mart, 28 grams, 28.8 roughly. And the 2205 again, what are we getting? 24. Yeah, 24.1 grams apparently with that motor length. So, pretty light really um, for a 2208 series motor. Now, I'll just quickly put this grub screw back on while I'm talking, but I think, I mean, I was looking at my 2206 series, which I know lasts a long time, they, they, these really take a beating, and I was looking at the amount of material that they've got here on the 2208s, and it's about the same. I would say the 2208s and the 2206 at the base here have about the same amount of material. Um, at the top here, obviously, it's a bit meatier, and um, but the prop adapter look, looks, you know, pr pretty good. I haven't bent any of these. These I haven't, we'll, we'll get to see. I'll crash the crap out of them, and I'll let you know. Um, I'll put a link to the RC Groups thread or threads if it ends up in multiple places, and um, I'm. I'm always the first to post on there when something happens. If a magnet slips or anything like happens, I'm the first one to post about it. That's that's true to form, you know, I won't lie about that. So um, I'll post a link there and try and keep you guys updated. And I'll try and throw these motors on a frame. I think I'll, I'm not really, not really sure what frame I'm going with yet, but we'll get there. Um, so yeah, throwing these, throwing these back on is, is the same with the 3mm as my last video. You just sort of butt it up against the shaft and click it on. Nice and simple. It's on. Really easy. Love Eclipse because of that. A little bit difficult taking off with these ones, but not so much getting on. Yeah, laughing. Um, hopefully, so yeah, we'll um, get some flight footage out. I'll do a build with these motors and... Um, I'll let you know how they go. The main thing we're going to be looking at here is uh, quality of the motors. Uh, 2205 series sort of fell short a little bit. I've got a lot still going well, but um, I did bend a few bases, and um, well, that seems to be my main complaint. And the magnet slipping on a couple of them. Um, once glued, they were fine again, but you know, like it, it shouldn't happen. But yeah, I mean, I. I'm happy, I, I keep on going with these motors because they deliver the performance that you expect from $30 motors, so, um, you know, when, when little things happen like that, you sort of take it, take it as it comes, um, yeah, I mean, I've, I've still got eight of my 2206 series motors going strong on builds, so, I mean, they, they definitely know how to make a good motor, and I'll keep working with them, and they listen to feedback, that's the main thing, so, um, you know, we have issues, we say, hey guys, you know, the, these motors need grub screws. A couple of weeks later, motors have grub screws. So that's that's what you've got to look for in companies, you know, like um, if if there's an issue and they come and resolve it, then they're listening and, and that's what we want. So um, I'll leave it there. Hope they'll get some flight footage up and uh, yeah, see you next time.